Oh, I hear little piggy. I hear a little piggy. <gasps> piggy! Piggy, piggy, piggy! Where are you going? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. That's not a pig. You okay, sir? Ow, motherfucker. Ow! Oh, you're gonna have a fist fight with me, huh? Oh, fellas, fellas, come on. Let's not start the party so soon. We haven't even got the gunpowder. Let's light him up, boys. What do you want? Arthur, we oh. need to talk to you. About what? <clears throat> All right, tell me. Spill the beans. It? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay, so Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I still got my poncho on. That's pretty cool. Mr. Morgan! Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs? Apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen? Little shit. Let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. They were just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All, All right. right. All right. Follow me. Arthur, you look quite stylish today. Again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. These should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. Oh we my deal with God. them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey! I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. 
You've always been a bad drunk. And before you no, say I was, it, I'm good at I being know. drunk. Takes one to know one. Okay. That All right. Have that's to wait. Kinda, We're here. Yeah, that's Let's true. Let's take it nice and easy. <laughs> Nobody make any ruckus, all right? Why is it so laggy? Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Let's make some okay. money. Okay, the money. Get ready. I can't forget. <laughs> Fuck. Are we going? I'm right here, guys. There's like an invisible wall. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, let's go. go. Of course. Oh, look at that. The water. Right. Holy cool. shit. And we're all normal, guys. Stay normal. Don't do so anything weird. We never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Uh, lost little girl. Whatever. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I'm not sure this is quite the play. He said it. Okay, you we're me. going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Excuse me, fellas. Shouldn't we rob a, a more bigger bank than this? This is uh, pathetic. All right. I guess we're going to rob this bank. Don't worry about it. Don't make us hurt you. Here. Unlock the door. I guess you can do that. I, I thought it was gonna make me fail the mission. Okay. The now I kind of feel like a piece of shit for doing that. Oh, open that goddamn oh, open gate. The goddamn vault. I mean oh, vault. Open, it. Oh, oh. open the damn vault. Faster, sir. Now I'm gonna have to ask you to show me your balls. Come on. Show me your balls, please, sir. Can you please show me your balls? I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now All right, watch. this guy's just getting abused yes, by now. Blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack. Blow. Blow up. I'm gonna blow it up. Gonna have to blow them. Come on, Arthur, go faster. We gotta go. <laughs> All right, guys, get the cover. Get the cover. Bill, show me your balls, please. Okay, there we go. It blew up. Wonder why it took so long. Give me the loot, baby. I hear people out there. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. I said come out now! What do we oh do? shit, dude! Oh, Bad guys. Starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Bow. Bow. Come on, let it go right. Ah! All right, boys, we're heading right towards them. Let's go! Woo! Oh, this is sick. Wow, 
Why am I still aiming down my, my side? Hey, this will work. There it is. Let's go. I want my hat back, though. Now let's get the hell out of this goddamn town. Oh, yeah, baby. This is more of my setting. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Shagadelic, baby. Follow me, fellas. No. I got them, don't worry, Bill. You got you can relax. Yeah, more of the sons of bitches. I already got them. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Okay, Mrs. Downs. This has always been the saddest part for me. It's just going up here and ruining a family. Because that's basically what you've done. You guys ruined a whole... No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Arthur did, but... I think... Well, I'm not going to spoil anything. Even though this game's five years old. It's starting to become six years old, actually. Um... Uh, if this is your first time watching this game, welcome. And it is not a happy story. So letting you know. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. But he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Piece of shit, whatever. And I got two thousand dollars. What the fuck? I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. 
Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, we're all proud of ourselves. Let's just relax. Um. <coughs> God, dude, I am not having it right now. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. <coughs> I should get going now. Perfect. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Bad job, we'll Austin. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Yes, I do. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the yeah, you guys gotta move. These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's Jinx, you owe me a kiss. <laughs> I'm just fellow. kidding. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. Yeah, yeah. Right, the man. Driver, proceed, please. <gasps> oh, it's a gazebo. Look, look, Jose, it's a gazebo. Jose, look, it's a gazebo. Look, over there, it's a gazebo. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Can I, I want to go to the gazebo, but please. maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. Excuse me, sir. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your I'm name on it. I'm going to the gazebo Ooh. really quick. Oh. Okay. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <clears throat> no, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional experience. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. Oh, my God. The road saloon. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Relax, relax. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, so we're we're gone down horses. Jesus Christ. You and Dutch already have that thing Jesus going on Christ, town. dude. We're gonna jump it! We're gonna jump it! Excuse me, a gentleman. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. 
You know how I feel about that. Are we okay? Did we do everything proper? Smoke this pipe. Oh, well, I'm I'm at the destination already. Your lip for it. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Well, we're already here, so we can just. There okay, we go. Stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <clears throat> Perfect. Um, we. I look like a clown. Hello, fellas. What is Jose doing? Jose, what are you doing? Oh, he's stuck. Gentlemen! Oh my god! What? Gentlemen! <laughs> right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. What the hey. fuck? Hello. Just happened. Hello, I'm Melvin. Holy my shit. Benton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. <clears throat> All right. We are businessmen. Gentlemen. This is Marvin. My I'm name is Melvin. Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. And I'm Fenton. Funny, but boy, can he pour We're gonna drinks. We're going to sell drinks. For the next thirty minutes. The drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Fenton. Come on. Here's your drink, Boa. Just keep them coming. See if we'll catch us all. Go drink up. Take your drink. Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Fenton, open it up. Oh, we're doing a good job here. Where is Simon? Don't you be You fucking be patient, dude. I'm not having your shit right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Guys, listen, I'm not sick. Just take your goddamn drinks and leave. There we go. Gentlemen, quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, get shit on. Upstairs, hurry. Oh, oh that's a gut. Uh, that's a gut. You gotta run, dude. I got you, Fenton. Damn, you okay? That must that must have been bad for I mean, especially for your age. That must have hurt. Stop that wagon. Yep. I'm getting us out of here. Why would you put a crate of explosives in the middle of a battlefield? Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Yeah! Okay. Pull off the road here. Uh, all right. Perfect.
All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Perfect. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Well, that doesn't sound good. All right, guys, that is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. Nothing really to it. I'm just going to end it. Um, yeah.